Breakfast Club. Here's the story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold, like their mother, the youngest one in curls. Here's the story of a man named Brady who was busy with three boys of his own. They were four men living all together. Yet they were all alone Till the one day when the lady left this fellow And they knew that it was much more than a hunt That this group must somehow form a family That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch <laughs> Alright, we have Mr. Leahy here with us And we have a very important question to ask you who do you think is gonna win, Mr. FCHS? Well, being that I'm like not in the competition, like not allowed to, mm -hmm. like the administration actually told me I wasn't allowed to participate. So you can't win, Mr. FCHS. Yeah. That so being that I'm out, um, <laughs> my my list of, of potential winners is still me, okay. even not mm -hmm. in the competition. Obviously. Um, followed by. Man, it's a tough one. There's just so many good uh, competitors. You have to go Jake Nasty. You have to go Jake Nasty. I think, I I'm, gonna, I think I'm gonna say Jake Nasty. True. He's probably up there. But, right, so you got Max, right? He's a ginger. Yeah, like, can do a backflip if you guys didn't yeah. know. Yeah, and mm -hmm. kick you in the face at the same yeah, time. Yeah. So like, that's cool. Uh -huh. um, it's what about Jack Goldsmith, your own student? He's sitting in there working right now. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no. I uh, can't be, even believe he's in the competition. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's a, that's a wrap. Jake Nasty, yeah. you heard it here first. So, Sean Leahy, Jake Nasty. Max uh, Austin. Austin. <laughs> I think Jack Velasic has a really good shot at winning this FTHS. He's a okay. great kid that's got a great personality. I'm looking forward to what he puts on for the school, and um, I'm looking really looking forward to it. All right. <laughs> All right, who do you think is going to win Mr. FTHS? I think it's a no-brainer. Max Hawksby. <laughs> All right, we have a very important question to ask you. Who do you think is going to win, Mr. FCHS? Jake Nastowitz. <laughs> All right, who do you think is going to win, Mr. FCHS? I think Jake's going to win because he's very funny. <laughs> All right. All right, Ms. Costa, we want to know, who do you think is going to win, Mr. FCHS? I'm really nervous to start drama here, guys, but I really think that Max Hawksby is going to win, Mr. FCHS. <laughs> Okay, who do you think is gonna win, Mr. FCHS? Uh, tough one, but I think I'm gonna go with Nick Davis. Okay. Jack Goldson. I was thinking Benji, but I guess he's not in it, so I'm gonna go with Jake Nasty. Okay. Who do you think is gonna win, Mr. FTHS? Well, if I was a betting man, and I'm not saying that I'm a betting man, but if I was, I would say it's gonna be a Jake or a Jack or something like that, because there's so many of them. <laughs> nice job. Okay, Mr. Reardon, who do you think is going to win Mr. FTHS? Um, I definitely think it's going to be Chris Liguori. He's going to he's going to dominate the competition. <laughs> so, Jeremy, who do you think is going to win Mr. FTHS? I think it's very obviously going to be Connor Brown. Let's give it up for Connor Brown. <laughs> who do you think is going to win Mr. FTHS? Well, I was going to say Christian Polio, but. <laughs> Now that I got this, <laughs> I'm gonna say Chris Nassau. Yeah! <laughs> Who do you think's gonna win Mr. FTHS? The nastiest man ever, Jake Nasty. Yeah! <laughs> Miss Matthews, who do you think is gonna win Mr. FTHS? Well, I do have 11 of the 14 contestants, and they all have a great shot of winning, but my vote is gonna be Nassau. Yeah.
What do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FTHS? I think it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. You gotta put the time in and you gotta put the work in. You gotta be prepared for everything. And yeah, I think it's just a lot of hard work. And I think everybody here has a really good shot of being the next Mr. FTHS because everyone's been working so hard. Who do you see as your biggest competition in winning the title of Mr. FTHS? Oh, definitely Blake. Right. Blake David? Yes. Interesting, why do you say that? Oh, he's got the moves. He he feels very comfortable on the stage when he performs. It's not like as do you. Yeah. Uh huh. But he he definitely has like a sense of comfortability. He could work a crowd if he wanted to. So I think he's got a pretty good shot. All right, thank you, Blake David. What do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FTHS? Um, I think to be the next Mr. FTHS, you have to be humble, be nice to everyone. You know, you just got to be an all around good guy. Who do you think is your biggest competition? I actually think my biggest competition is tied between two people. Um, Jake Nasty, but like Connor Brown. Mm. I want Connor Brown to take it home. If I don't win... That umbrella performance, I know it's yeah, going to be a good one. I want Connor Brown to take it home. Or Jake Nasty, he's pretty funny. Uh -huh. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah. All right, what do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FTHS? I think it takes a lot of dedication, a lot of effort, a lot of leadership. Honestly, you just you just got to bleed Colombian gold. Can't be can't be mm. can't be no normal human here at Township. If you're going to be Mr. FTHS, you better have that gold and Colombia blood ooze out of you. All right, thank you. No Who do you think is your biggest competition? Biggest, com biggest competition. Uh, I, th I think of two men when you ask that question. Number one, the umbrella man himself, Connor Brown. I mean, if he if he kills that act, there's some we're looking for some trouble. And the singer, the piano player, Max Hawksby. I mean, again, if he kills the act, it could very well be detrimental to the uh, the efforts of Jake Nasty mm. winning Mr. FTHS. All right, thank, thank you. you. What do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FTHS? Um, I think it takes passion. Uh, I think it takes a warrior spirit, you know, sometimes the morning warrior spirit 7 a.m. 7 30 You don't want to get up, you know, and uh, you gotta have that alarm set. You gotta get up You gotta wake yourself up for this. Uh, it's not easy. No one said it was gonna be easy The practices are rigorous, but uh, it takes a fighter and uh, I think I got what it takes I think I've, I've been fighting this whole year. I'm gonna fight in the season and uh, I'm gonna fight on Thursday All right, thank I'm you. Come, I'm gonna come up bring the heat Who do you think is your biggest competition in winning Mr. FTHS? There's one man that comes to mind, uh, you know, he's just a show, he's just a classic act. Uh, I'm a little worried about his talent, you know, pie eating, real skill, as you can see. Please. Uh, number seven, anything else that I'd order? Uh, you know, I have a side of uh, medium coat. Uh-huh, medium yeah, that coat. Man right there, right there. <laughs> that man right there, Jacob Nasty, I think he's going to do my biggest competition. So, so. What do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FTHS? I think definitely confidence, school spirit, you gotta have that real patriot mentality, you know, mm -hmm. coming to all like the school events, basketball games, football games, 
you know, being enthusiastic. And I think I have all that. You do. Uh, I yeah. think you do. Thank you. Thank you. Who do you think is your biggest competition in winning Mr. Um, FTHS? No. Some pe it's re very hard to play the piano. And I know someone that's going to be playing the piano, Max Hawksby. Mm -hmm. He's pretty enthusiastic, but... And he's playing the piano, too. But I think I got this one. All right. I I All you nicked in. <laughs> what do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FTHS? I think you need to be funny, confident, but also school-spirited. And I think you have those things, because I hear you did win... The most, most school spirited. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd you win that with? Logan <laughs> Yeah. Who do you think is your biggest competition in winning Mr. FTHS? I'm gonna have to say Jake Nasty. I mean, he's pretty funny. So uh, that's kind of hard to beat because that's like one of the main things that I need to win Mr. FTHS. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. What do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FTHS? It takes a lot of things. It takes talent, obviously, passion, hard work. You gotta be that guy. You gotta have that dog in you. Do you You're think you have that dog in you? Could. You'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> it's only it's only Tuesday. See you on Thursday. All right. Who so, do you think is your biggest competition in winning Mr. FTHS? I got two guys in mind. I got Mr. Leahy. I mean, surprise <laughs> guest. Not a student, but his contestant and his talent. You don't have to worry about. Leahy's the guy right there. And then we got this guy right here. That's my talent partner, Nikki Davis. I mean, we're gonna we're going for the crown. I mean, let's look. Good-looking guy. I'm scared. I'm scared of a little kid. <laughs> oh, oh my God! My, my hero, Nikki Davis. Oh, I am. Okay, thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's my interview. Yeah. Um. What do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FCHS? Um. I don't know if this question of what it takes. The question is who it takes, uh, and you, that Nikki person Davis. is me. It takes me to be Mr. FCHS. <laughs> Who do you think is your biggest competition in winning Mr. FTHS? My biggest competition is Kyle Chowfin. That's oh. Silent killer. He just wants to rock. He's on the ground. What do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FTHS? It takes uh, a lot of dedication for sure. A lot of early mornings, you know. I mean, like, you start off 18 guys, maybe 19 guys, we're down to 14. Like, you, you gotta be passionate. Like, if you're not passionate, it's not for you, you know? Biggest competition in between two guys here, all right? So first we got like Jake Nasty, of course. Dude's a clown, dude's passionate, you know, creative, very creative. And then Sweeper, we got Nikki Davis. Dude has hips like Shakira. If you see this kid dance, oh my God. God. Yeah, yeah, so. Those are the two. <laughs> all right, Kyle, what do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FTHS? You no, know, I think it takes a lot of passion, a lot of grit, you know? You gotta want to show up to practice every morning and you gotta go all out when the night comes, you know, you gotta be ready for a moment. Are you ready to rock? I'm certainly ready to rock. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, mean, I think my biggest competition is uh, Connor Brown, you know, his uh, talent, he's set up for success, you know, if he like, if he does his thing out there, I think he can win. Mm -hmm. I just think Max Hawkins up there too, because piano is very unique. Yes. So I think. All right, thank you. What do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FTHS? Um, it definitely takes a really good personality. You have to be like a likable person, uh, a good sense of humor, and you have to have dedication, you know. The early practices are hard to compromise. You miss a lot of breakfast, important meal, uh, a lot of school you're missing, so you need to have dedication, a good personality, and a good sense of humor. Who do you think is your biggest competition? I think my biggest competition is probably Nick Dane. I mean, his talent is great. Uh, also, Justin Singer is a big competition. I mean, it's my part of crime. I do my talent with him, so definitely uh, people to look out for. Yeah, those are a tough two. Oh, excuse me, Chris Nasso. Do you mind okay. if I ask you a few questions? Of course. What do you think it takes to become the next Mr. FCHS? Um, honestly, I think it takes a lot of passion mm. and kindness towards others. I think you want to like be a positive, bright light towards everyone else and someone that smiles every time they see you so do you think you have what it takes i do i think a lot of people smile when they see me and i don't know if that's because <laughs> i'm a little weird looking but I, I think i think i bring off uh positive energy so okay yeah. okay who do you think is your biggest competition in winning mr ftgs um i think my biggest competition has to be jacob nastarovich mm. and just by seeing his talent and how much effort he's putting into this competition, I think that he has a really good shot of winning it. And what do you think it takes to become the next Mr. FTHS? To become the next Mr. FTHS, you have to be ready for anything. I mean, we're waking up early every single morning. We never know what we're going to do, a new dance, new competition. There's plenty of obstacles in the way. There's plenty of competition, so you got to be better than the rest. 
Okay. Biggest competition, oh, yeah. Nick Dane. Nick Dane is ready to Nick Dane is ready to freak the freak out. <laughs> He's gonna go nuts the night off. He's been preparing every single day. He practices more than anyone else. I have Nick Dane winning it all. Okay, thank you. What do you think it takes to be the next Mr. FTHS? I think it takes a lot of leadership and uh, confidence. I don't really see that among my peers, like at all. Oh. Um, no, I see it in myself a lot. Like I, I feel <laughs> no, I feel really good about this. Um, not so much for like you know NASA or like. Uh, Parisi, but no, they're fine. Like, okay, okay. <laughs> Who do you see as your biggest competition? Uh, I gotta say Jake Nassi. He's, uh, his act is pretty nuts to butts. So, oh, uh, yeah. No, I, I'd watch out for him. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, boys. I've been working for far too long. Yeah. Far too long. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think yeah. you go wrong. Yeah. 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 So yeah. much effort that oh, yeah. 730. How many times were we here at 730? So, so many times. Way, way too many. now, Thursday, we make it count. Oh, yeah. 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 We get oh, our butts yeah. off. We get our butts off. We look good. Oh, yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not a single person. <laughs>